Hi you guys, it's Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a haul video. So I've been picking up a couple of things here and there in them and I haven't used them or anything because I wanted to film a haul video and part of me still wanted to go out and like get a little bit more but I did pick up a lot of things. I went to a couple different like drug stores. I went to Ulta and I went to some beauty supply stores. Let's start off with what I got at Ulta. I picked up this Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. So I figured it was worth a shot and I got the little one. Oh, it's sealed. I'm going to use this probably right after this because I have to take my makeup off because I'm going to go get a facial. But so this is my philosophy. It's supposed to be really, really nice. I've heard good things about this and I feel like people with sensitive skin have used this and it was still okay. So I thought I'd give it a try. The candles make me nervous. Also, I picked up a brush. I picked up a Real Techniques setting brush. I guess you can use this to pick a powder to set your under eye. I have like a concealer brush that I use for that, but being that this is meant like to set the makeup, I thought it would be good. They were actually having a really good deal and I don't know if it was at all Ulta's or just mine, but it was like buy one, get one free kind of thing. I ended up getting this and then I ended up getting like the Real Techniques sponge and I gave that to a lady I used to work with because I went out with her and she was like, teach me about makeup. So I went to show her and I got one for my mom. So I gave those away don't have those to show but I picked up this brush all right I got by NYX I got this pore filler primer don't know I really haven't heard anything about this it could be good it could be terrible I'm not sure but I figured it'd be good to kind of smooth out and even the texture of my skin before applying makeup because I do like obviously to have something that looks very even textured and smooth and I thought let's try it I also got another primer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend and I got the face primer for combo skin. So this is new. They had for dry skin, oily skin, and combo skin. Now that it is winter time, my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, but it always ends up looking oily throughout the day. That's just the way my skin is. So I figured I'm combo because I'm neither oily nor dry. I'm kind of like a mixture of both so I was like all right I'll try this out the only thing is they have like I've tried the covergirl true match and that was just not good I will leave that below if you want but uh, spoiler alert I just did not like that foundation at all like but I'm like maybe I'll like the primer and I guess you're supposed to use it with the foundation you don't have to but i just was not i did not want to repurchase another one i don't think i ever used the other one more than that one time because i i just hated it to be honest but we'll see also by nyx i got this eyeliner it's a slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliner and I got it in glitzy gold I have yet to find the perfect black waterline eyeliner I probably should have picked this up in black and see if I liked it but I don't know something in me was like be different and get something you don't have so I have like navies I have browns I have like teals but I don't have a gold one I don't think I picked up the gold I thought that would look pretty especially with like oh with my brown eyes I thought the gold would make you know the gold in my brown kind of pop a little bit. I got this Maybelline color tattoo, the 24 hour in luscious lavender. I only have one of the Maybelline color tattoos like in the little pots and I have it as, which one? Tough as taupe or something like that. And I absolutely love that one for when I want like a cool tone smoky eye. When I saw that they had like the crayons, I'm like, oh, maybe that'll be easier. and Maybe I'll use it more. I really do like the other one like the pod the color tattoo i just i don't know why i never got other ones but when i saw this i'm like oh so i thought this was cool because it's like a cool smoky lavender we'll see shall i swatch you okay fine i will 
I mean, today I have like pinks and stuff going on, but lately I've been like loving having cool toned eye makeup. So this will be good. Can you, thank you. So, ooh, that, I like that. That's very pretty. I'm gonna good, I'll show you. So that's like a really smoky silver purple. I'm gonna have fun with that. The next things that I got are also from Maybelline and I picked up their Vivid Matte Liquid. I picked up three of them because I did wanna do a first impression slash like swatch video. I got it in Nude Flush, Nude Thrill, and Possessed Plum. I'm not gonna swatch them. We will save that. For the first impression i feel like i'm gonna love this color and i have high hopes for this one but i wasn't gonna pick up like the whole line because i'm like what if i don't like them let me not go too crazy but these were three that i'm like uh, even if i hate it i feel like i could somehow pull these off but there was like a neon purple one which i was like ooh, that could be cool but i didn't get it and I got, also by Maybelline, it got their Touch of Spice color, which this color I hear like left and right. People with all different skin tones, they like this and don't, oh, it's not bad. Okay. I was going to say I don't like the smell, but I got the, you know how they had like the buff slime and I got it and everyone was talking about this one. Where is it? I don't know if I have it here or it's in another bag. I don't know where it is, but there was one Maybelline color that everyone loved and they were like, oh, this is great and blah, blah, blah. And I got it and honestly, I was not happy with it. I didn't like the smell and like it just was weird on my lips, but I've heard left and right that this one, specifically this color also, it's like amazing and the formula is great and yada, yada, yada. So, I mean, it is creamy. I don't like the smell, but I don't hate it. The other one was like Play-Doh. It was not good, but this is, it might look good. I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a chance. Also those, I think I got at a Rite Aid. I don't think I got those at Ulta, side note. Next by Maybelline, I picked up the new Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation and a new Dream Blender Foundation Blending Sponge. So this looks like a little mini beauty blender type thing. I don't know how this is gonna work to like apply it and I don't know how this is gonna work. These two I got at my local Harmons, I believe. So like I said, I kind of went everywhere to get these things. But I do wanna do a first impressions on this. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. It's supposed to leave like a really velvety matte looking but not dry looking. So we will try that. I went to Target and I went to Joanne Reed and I picked up some things sticking again with Maybelline. I didn't even notice. I'm like on a Maybelline kick. It must have been like a sale or something because I don't know why I would just get a bunch of Maybelline, but that's okay. I got the Dream Lumi Touch and it's the hydrating concealer. I, this is a gel based concealer. It's supposed to illuminate the skin, make it look brighter. Normally I don't go towards things that say Lumi just because my skin does tend to get oily throughout the day. So I really don't go for things that are like illuminating because I'm like, then I'm just gonna look like a grease ball. So I got it in ivory and nude because they're kind of similar. Um, one seems to be a little bit more pink and the other one's a little bit more gold, but there was another one that just looked like straight up pink and I'm like, that's gonna look dumb on me. So I'm gonna play around. I'm gonna use it as like a highlighter type thing. I also got from Target the Que Bella or Que Bella, I don't know. I use Spanish or Italian. Well, it's gotta be Spanish because it's K. I got a few different masks. I got the Deep Cleansing Aloe Vera Mask, a Refreshing Pomegranate Peel Off Mask, and I got a Rejuvenating Dead Sea Mineral Spa Sheet Mask. I've never heard of this at all, but they were like a dollar, so I just picked some up. At Dwayne Reed, I picked up 
CoverGirl True Blend Blush. And so I picked up the medium one medium rose i don't think i have any covergirl blushes so oh it's very creamy i don't know if you guys can tell it's right there okay right there i think you can see and then i got again by covergirl and this is the covergirl true naked um and then okay so there was the gold the nudes and then the rose i believe and it says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Naked palette by Urban Decay. Whoa, okay. Girl, relax. <laughs> I just grabbed it. But I thought the colors were really pretty and I thought that, let's, I don't need you. Can definitely do different looks with this. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different shades. I don't remember the price of this off the top of my head. Oh, I think it was $10 actually. But yeah, so I figured instead of getting like the Naked palette, you can try this. I think this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Naked 2 palette. Maybe. We'll see. I'm excited. Then I got the Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. Now I got it in 150 buff. It might be a little light, but I figured I can always add bronzer if it is. The other one I was going to get, I think was like sand buff or sand beige or something, which was a little bit deeper, but this one seemed more gold. Looking at the other one in the compact, it may have been too orange looking for me, but I can be completely wrong. I actually haven't used the original Revlon Color Stay, although I have heard really good things about it. So I figured I would try this because it comes with a little concealer as well. So I'll probably do a first impression slash review video on this as well, but I thought I'd give it a try. Then I went ahead and went to the beauty supply and in one of my beauty supply stores, Cosmoprof, I love Cosmoprof, but in the actual catalog, I would always see like the bomb products. And I was like, I've never seen the bomb products there. Like any products that I have from the bomb, I've actually received in Ipsy bags. And I've heard about the luminizers and I've always wanted to try them. And I went in quickly to get like a couple of things. And then I saw it and they have this. It's the Manizers Sisters aka luminizers um, so this comes with the mary luminizer cindy luminizer and betty luminizer i've heard good stuff about them i'll just do this quickly this is mary cindy and betty hey girls but here they are they seem beautiful but i got so excited when i saw this i was like oh i can try them because i i was going to order it online but i just never did so when I saw it, I'm like, okay, okay. Um, what else? I picked up this sexy hair, blonde sexy hair, sulfate free, bright blonde shampoo. Now I always like play around with different purple or violet anti-brass shampoos. Doesn't smell that great. My favorite one is the Paul Mitchell Platinum Shampoo. I love that shampoo so much. But being that this is sulfate free and it's supposed to be a little bit more gentle, it has honey and chamomile and quinoa in it. So I'm like, okay, that might be good. Especially because I'm like, ignore my hair. I feel like I say that in every video lately that I'm like, ah, if I have makeup on, who cares about my hair? I'll just film anyway, but really ignore my hair. It's like, it's bad. I was like, I'm gonna get a facial. I'm not gonna do my hair this morning. But I am putting some of my blonde back in my hair, so you know I'm gonna be playing with the purple shampoos. And maybe I'll do like a video of my top 10 favorite purple shampoos. Because I played around with a bunch of them. Some of them I hate, some of them I love. But this was one that I wanted to try. My leg is asleep. I'm almost done, I gotta go. Oh yeah, I gotta go, okay. Next, I got this Humidity Blocker Finishing Spray by Joyco. I actually got it really because the girl said that this was going to help with static. I mean, I don't need. She said it smells really good and... <coughs> oh my God, it smells real bad. 
Girl, you straight up lied to me. Oh, okay, that's better. Okay, better. But anyway, she said it's supposed to help with hu with um static too, not just humidity. So I was like, all right. Then I got by Bliss this Fat Girl six pack. It's a tummy toning gel. I don't know. I just saw it. I was like, okay, I'll try it. I really don't have like cellulite or anything like that. Or but it is said that like caffeine and stuff is good and like massage is good for cellulite because it's not necessarily like a fat thing. I was reading up about it. Um, it is affected by like circulation and like I'm not I'm not going to say because I'm not too sure. But I thought that it was good because this has like a little applicator thing that you can use to massage. So rub it on my belly and keep it nice and firm. So I was like, why not? Might as well. They were having a sale too. Then I got the Steva Curl Microfiber Towel because even though I don't wear my hair curly, my hair is naturally curly and I do love Steva Curl products. So this is just gonna help with reducing friction when instead of using a regular cotton towel or whatever, it's supposed to help reduce, hmm, reduce frizz. And last but not least, I got a couple of little nail polishes. I got, oh, I got one is an Essie gel nail color. I do have the lights and this is on a silver spoon. Just based off of that, it looks nice. And then I got hot tub, like hot, like hot, hot, like hot, hot look, right? Hot, hot tub. Wow. Whoa. Had a moment. But anyway, this is like black, but purple, but yellow and green. I don't know if you guys can see. So I'm like, that would look kind of cool on your nails. And when you move, it looks differently, but I don't know. We'll play. I always end up leaving with things that I really don't need. But anyways, I am going to have a lot of filming to do. I have a lot of first impressions that I want to do and like dupe videos and stuff like that. But I just want to show you guys what I picked up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This video thumbs up. If you did enjoy this, let me know if you guys like have picked anything up, anything that's new, things you like, things you don't like. If anything in here that I picked up that you guys have tried, let me know. Let me know what you thought. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And as always, be sure to stay happy, you guys.